All right, so I think we should be live right now. I'll just have to check on that in a second here. It's hard to tell at first, but yeah, we're definitely live. All right, so everybody, welcome back to Fishing Planet, and it looks like somebody just joined in. I'm joined here with a Patreon community member and the awesome moderator that always takes care of the chat all the time, Zach Aru. What's going on, Zach? I like fishing. You like fishing, huh? Hey, some people are joining in. We're doing a little bit of bobber fishing, and we got a little bite right now. So let's get ready on that. Uh, oh, we got him. Definitely got him. And that is a nice bass. 12-inch bass. Not bad at all. Justin the Bustin' Hunter, welcome to the stream. Glad to see you made it in here. Uh, Jatiana Morgan. Um, not sure about Call of the Wild yet. But let's take a look at this fish. It's so, got a decent fish. What do you got? Holy, that thing's fighting pretty good. Of mm. course, it's a shiner. Oh, <laughs> you have a shiner. That's funny. Hello, Lace. Good to see you. So, yeah, let's keep this for now. And I want to do a little bit of uh, catfishing as well. But I don't think we have the right bait unlocked. So maybe we can figure out a way to do that soon. But for now, I'm pretty happy with that. Caught a nice bass. Yeah, Call of the Wild's fun. I'll definitely be playing it soon, just don't know exactly when. I'm starting to enjoy fishing a little bit. Getting a pretty good bite here. Pretty decent bite. Oh, maybe not. All right, so let's try out our new spinning rod that we have. All right, sounds good, Justin. Good to see you. That's an ocean. What'd you catch? Oh, nice. So who's all here? We have the fisherman Ian and Zach right now. Oh, just missed a fish right there. He was right there too. Yeah, Jatiana, come on and join. Definitely, there's plenty of room here. Come on and join. I mean, Definitely. just don't steal all the fish. I was hitting the wrong button. Whoops. Hey, Tyler Zink. You used to play it, but you don't play it that much. Why is that? It's a pretty fun, relaxing game, once you get the hang of it. We're basically doing a lot of reeling and stopping right now. It seems to work pretty good. I reel fast, then I reel slow. Let it sink a little bit, then reel fast again. Oh. Reel a little bit too slow. And the fish never bait. Joe Rex Weaver, good to see you. Russian Fishing 4. I'm pretty sure the English version just came out not too long ago on that. But yeah, I heard it is a pretty good a pretty good fishing game as well. Let it sink a little bit here and see if we can't coax something into biting it. We 
You might have to move a little Just bit. Just so cause... you know, guys, I'm checking the chat, so don't be naughty. Oh. Or I will destroy you. Just had a fish bite right there again. What do you have going on there? Looks like you just missed one. Can't get a bite right now. Caught a couple nice ones before, but. Hey, Cole Mullins. Hello, Jake the Great Hunter. Cosmin, good to see you. I'm doing really good. Game King Tyler, thank you for that. If we could get a bite, that would be really nice. A little slack, a little more slack, speed it up, put it right, right next to the bottom, and we'll speed it up a little bit more. Oh, we got a boil. Let it slow down a little bit. Something gonna bite it? Nope. Nothing. Interesting. All right, well, let's try and cast one more time. Cole Mullins, the, the game is called Fishing Planet. And it's free too. Hey, that's a nice bluegill you got. Except for it's not really attached to the line. <laughs> game King Tyler, I'm doing good. Thank you for that. Oh no, I'm still going to play Call of the Wild. Just not right now. Come on, that fish just had it. He let go. What'd you catch there? A whole lot of nothing. Ah. Uh. Yeah, these bass are tricky to get to bite. They're definitely tricky. Hey, uh, DD and Flinter are the best. <laughs> Sorry you had to delete your name. The funny part is I actually accidentally wrote the Hunter DD22 on here, so that's probably why it says the Hunter DD22 instead of DD33. Mega Yeah, you got one. I'm not sure if maybe because the daytime or the time of the day right now is different or something, but they're not biting very good. We got one, finally. I forgot to set the hook. Holy. Finally got a fish on. Nice bass. At least it should be a nice bass. We have our drag set pretty good. Real speed's pretty good. But he's fighting good. We actually caught, uh, well actually it was my biggest bass. And I think it was almost 15 inches, 1.8 pounds. Wasn't it 1.8 pounds? Yeah, this one's a nice one. Yeah, it was 1.86 pounds. It was a pretty nice bass. Pretty nice. Oh! Wow. No, 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 no. What is going on? What? Just lost that big fish. I had the drag set as low. That must have been a really big fish unless you hit a snag. Uh, he might have took me into something. I don't know. I had the drag set pretty low. And the real speed was pretty low. 
And there goes our gold spoon. It's gone. Well. Hey, thank you for the follow. Jonathan Meredith, welcome. Good to see you in the stream. We just lost a monster fish. Guarantee it. I don't know. The same thing happened on the last fish, and it ended up being like a 15-incher. And it weighed 1.8 pounds. Lord Cole, hey, good to see you in here again. Well, <laughs> we need to get some more hooks. Wow. Can we even get some? Um, this should be interesting. I think we have to buy some more, maybe. Let's see. Hooks. Uh, let's get some number... Which one was I using? A number 8? Number 10. No, I was using a number 10. I want some number 10s. Yeah, that was unfortunate. We might need to get some more worms as well, too. You know what? I bet that might have even been a, a catfish, to be honest. That was a nice fish. Hey, there's our hook. There's our worm. We're back in business. That was a nice fish. All right, so the leader depth that we had was set at 18 inches, I believe. Yes, it was 18 inches. And we'll switch back to overhead casting. I don't know what that was all about there, but... Do we have no line left? I mean, we don't have any line left or what? Uh-oh. Yeah, Jonathan, hopefully he bites again. That's going to be nice if he does bite again. Wait. Yeah, we're trying out some fishing planet here. Hey, Sly Dog, thank you for that. Welcome to your first stream. I don't know why we're using this pole anymore, but let's bring it in. Yeah, we were using... That's what we have to do. Slap two. This is the problem here. We need to get uh, some baits back. Can we get that same spoon? Yeah, we can. Okay, good. All right, now we might need to get some more line. There it is. And do we need more line? I think we might be all right. All right. Now maybe we can catch a big fish. Oh, I really wish. Yeah, the drag was set pretty loose on that too. The drag was set as loose as it could go. It couldn't actually go any looser. We still lost that fish. I don't know how that happened. Hello, Baked Rascal. Good to see you again. Of course I remember. I'm still trying to figure out how that big fish just got away. We were definitely... Got him. I really love how the smaller fish just literally fling at me when I set the hook. Okay, let's keep our drag down this time so we don't lose another big one. This one's fighting pretty decent. 
nothing near like the other one, but you just find him pretty decent. Big Drasco, it's going really good. Thank you for that. Hopefully your day's going good as well. And it's the weekend, so can't complain about that. Wiggles, glad to see you're here. Can't quite see what your chat says, but... Uh, oh, oh, almost lost that fish. Don't want to lose another one. Well, I guess that answers the question, Zach. I was wondering if... This fish keeps trying to get some slack on us, and I don't want him to get off. Uh, that was the answer to the question, whether or not the fish could get off. What is this fish doing? Well, oh, hold on, got a fish. Got him. 12 inch bass, almost one pound. But decent it's a decent fish, one. Fish on, big that. Drasco. Yeah, fish on. That is a nice fish. Really nice. Uh, let's keep it for now. Let's definitely keep it for now. See if we can get some cash. Also, um... Hold on, what was the question again? I already forgot. Alright, let's give another cast That's out there. 11 out of 10. Wasn't it about um, something to do with the, the line breaking and the drag and stuff like that? Oh, it's because it was a big fish! <sighs> Just had another hit. As soon as I let off the slack, all of a sudden I start tightening it and he hits it again. Oh, he let go that time. Get an advanced license without worrying. Yeah, exactly. If I got some stronger line, then I wouldn't have that issue. Let's set up a bow range. That's going to be awesome, Bake, Bake Draskal. Where are you going to do that at? In your backyard? Yeah, I remember doing that, setting up some 3D targets out there. Nothing like setting up a nice little bow range out there. We'll let it slow down a little bit. I love casting right to that exact spot every time. Slow down a little more. Speed up. And not quite. All right, basically I try and cast right towards, there's a tree right there. I cast right towards that tree every time. If I can get it that far sometimes, sometimes I can't, but. Well, you got a nice fish there, huh? You guys are catching the sunfish pretty good. We'll let it down a little bit more, bring it back up, and stop. And surprise, that didn't work. Oh, nice! Right at the last second, we got a hit from a nice fish. Let's see. Yeah, he's a decent one. He's pulling pretty good. We almost slipped him in. Yeah, let's let's see if we can pull. No, we can't. Can't quite pull him in. He's a fighter. It's one of those things where those fish hit right next to the boat. And you think, oh, they're just going to come right in. They're going to come right in. But really, they don't realize that they're actually hooked yet. So it could be a 20-inch fish and you just don't know it. Yeah, because I'm trying to bring him in now. He doesn't want to come in. Hey, Sly Dog, thank you for the information. I appreciate that. All right, sounds good, killers. I'll see you later. Look at this fish is out there now, like 70, 80 feet out there. Holy. We probably could have just flipped him in. Was 1.86 bass um, fighting that hard? Uh, the 1.86 bass fought as hard as the one that broke my line, pretty much. About the same. Mm. Oh, he's coming in faster. Come on, come on.
Uh, you really have to pay attention to your real speed because if he comes straight at you like that and you're doing a medium speed, he could get the line loose and spit the hook. Why are people spamming the keel back 94 to you? I to delete those comments. Uh, probably shout outs or something like that. Wow. I bet we probably could have just hoisted this fish in when he was right here. And now, now we have our work cut out for us here. Look, here it comes, here it comes. Come on. This one might be a 1.6 pound bass. He might be. Let's see if we can get him in here this time. We'll get him worn out and bring him in. Uh, Lord Cole, we're using the spinning reel, the spinning rod and reel. Come on, fish. I don't dare to tighten the drag up anymore either because watch what happens. Look at that. It goes right to yellow. Yeah, that's it's a little bit too much. A little close for comfort. Keep it there for a little bit and see what happens. Yeah, I don't like that. I don't like having my drag that low. No, because my line just snapped. Time has changed. I just lost a, a big fish because the drag was set too tight. Nathan Eeyore, what is going on? Well, see, because I only have three pound test line, so. You've been fighting this bass for quite a while. Uh, that's because he realized he's hooked now and he doesn't want to get caught. Yeah, because I'm getting yellow already and I'm already. Oh. Yeah, our drag's a little bit too tight here. We backed off. Just switched it. Let's see if we get him up. We might end up getting a triple here. You guys both caught one here. Looks like Ian caught one. Did you catch one? Yeah, you caught a 1.8 or a 0.18 pound shiner. All right, let's get him up here. Oh, that's a nice fish. 1.6 pounder. Yeah, I had a feeling it was going to be a 1.6 pounder. It was going to be close to uh, my 1.8 pounder. Not quite, but that's that's a nice fish. That is a nice fish. See, there's Keelbach 94 TV. Put a drag a little higher. Yeah, but then this fish would have got away. That was a nice fish. Real nice fish. Thorn Whirl. Hey, welcome. Glad to see you're back here. Shark Twister. Thank you so much for joining in on the stream. I really appreciate that. Yeah, we're definitely going to keep this guy. Wow, that was a nice fish. I enjoy using this spoon because you never know what you're actually going to catch. Hey, thank you for that. Hey, Kevin. All right, let's cast her back out there. Right back to that tree. Every time I cast right back to that tree. Almost an eight inch bluegill. Oh, nice fish. Nice fish. We'll let some slack out. Tighten it up a little bit. Keep it right about there. I don't really want to stop because then it drops too much. The only thing you can do is reel faster and slower. And then back slower. And maybe stop right towards the end, I guess. Might get a hit right there. Nope. We usually do figure eights in the water. I wish you could do figure eights here. It would be cool if you actually could. Wait, I don't want to cast there. I want to cast there. This is pretty fun when you get a nice fish on. It really is. When you don't get one that big, it's it's pretty boring. But once you get a decent fish on, it definitely changes the tempo. Just trying to stop and go a little bit. Come on, hit it, hit it. Nothing. No. Hey, I saw you fly that fish out of the water. 
It's like they're so lightweight that they're just paper fish. Nice. Where did I get these headphones? I got these on Amazon. Yep. If you search for... Oh, fish! Fish on. Fish on. If you search for um, gaming headset, Camouflage Sades gaming headset, you should be able to find it somewhere on Amazon. Why is this fish going up on shore? It's another nice one here. Yeah, Big Drasco, this is nice. Uh, I, I do fish a lot in real life, but I've never fished in a game until yesterday, so I really do I really do enjoy it. So let's try and speed our drag or tighten our drag up a little bit and see what happens. It it turns yellow, and I don't know if that's a good thing. No. Yeah, look at we almost just lost that fish. Oh my gosh. AC's outdoors, please do not spam high. No, 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 no. It broke the line again. Oh, must have been a nice fish. Must have been a nice fish. I think you might need some heavier line. Can I get some heavier line? Let's see if we can get some heavier line. Doesn't look like it. We have two pound tests, two pound tests, or two pound tests. I don't think we can get any heavier line. What is this? Two pound tests. It's all two pound tests. Isn't there any like expensive line that we can get? Do you have to unlock it? How do you get stronger line? This is not good. I don't want to lose any more fish. What is this one? Oh, well, let's just buy yeah, this one. What's up? Hmm. Bunny hunting. I do enjoy hunting a little bit more because, well, it's a little more exciting. But fishing is pretty relaxing and I like fishing just as much when you catch fish. Not so much when you're not catching fish. Dr. Oranges. Oh, you have to unlock it by leveling up. All right. Well, I guess for the time being, we just have to keep catching these nice bass. And we'll have to keep our drag set low. We have to keep it set low. If we do that, we should be all right. Can't wait till I can catch bass. Yeah, something is messed up here. Oh, our drag's too loose. Okay, that's what's going on. Hello, Ian. 80 pound line. Oh, that must be nice there, Dr. Oranges. That must be nice. What level? You have to get level 18 to get a lot of rods and reels. Hey, that's awesome. I really appreciate that. Thank you for that. I think it's Fish Hut. Let it go up. And back down. And back up. Nothing. Nope. Let's go right back to that same spot. Hey, that's a really good question, uh, Shark Twister. 
No, it's it's a lot more exciting in real life, for sure. Plus, then you get to actual, well, you get to actually see the animal in person, and you get to, well, eat it for dinner. Got a fish. Let's keep our drag set low this time so we don't lose this nice fish. But if we can get him in right away, let's just pull him right in. Let's pull him right in. Let's see if he comes in. Might not be a good idea. No. He is not coming in. He is not just coming right in. He's fighting like crazy. I wish he would come right in. Chris Johnson, I'm doing good. Hey, AC Outdoors, thank you for that. Oh, we almost had him. I'm trying to trick him. See, I'm trying to reel him and then flip him in here really quick. But I don't know if it's a good idea or not. Let's get him in. Let's get him in. Let's get him in. Come on. He was so close. We had him right there. Ooh. Get him Ooh, in. Get him in. Get him in. Got a really nice pass. Got him. 14.2 inches and 1.6 pounds. Another nice fish. What did he get? What is uh? Wait, I can't see that for some reason. Let's take a look at him though. <sighs> Jordan Fisher. Yeah, I know. I was I was horsing him too much. I wanted to get him up quick to see if we could level up faster. I knew he wasn't going to be that big, but apparently he was that big. So I probably shouldn't have done that. It wasn't a good idea. You're right. You should never horse fish. You're going to lose them pretty much every time. Then you'll lose a big fish because of it. So let's keep this fish. Hey, hey we leveled up. Level 7. Come on. Can we get some new line? Can we get some new line? Nope. We have some more rods available. But looks like some new reels too. New hooks available as well, too. All right, let's slow down the speed here a little bit more. Yeah, I'm still here. Hey, someone just got a bat. How big was that bass that somebody just caught? I didn't see. Oh, uh, 1.82. They got a 1.8 bass? Who was that? Was that Lord Cole? This COD. So that would have been, uh, I think that's Bivory. Pretty sure it's Bivory. Hey, I wish I could have seen your fish, Bivory. If it was, Bi yeah, I'm pretty sure it was Bivory. I got a new line. Let's check. I hope so. Hey, Bridger, good to see you again. Welcome back. Wait, three pound test. There you go. What do we have here though? Can't tell what this is. Well, it's gotta be better than that other stuff. Let's go check the shop actually. Um, lines. What if we do braided line? Is there a stronger line? Floral line? No. See, this is all just two pound tests. If we could do six to eight, three pound test, there's no three pound test. How come it doesn't show three pound test here? Hmm. Anyways, I'm pretty sure we have three pound test here. Yeah, so let's use this. Is that what we have? I think we already have. An exactly, an exact, yeah. I can't speak right now. An exactly 0.2 pound um, sunfish. 0.2 pound sunfish? That's a nice fish. Nice job. Real nice job. I'm pretty sure we just bought the same exact line twice. Yeah, well, three pound test is better than two pound test, I guess. So, I might as well use it, I guess. Hey, the hunter Ian, welcome. Let's cast her way out there this time. Oh, wrong lure. Not wrong lure, wrong pole. Wrong pole and wrong lure. Rod, rod is... We broke our line? What happened? I don't remember that. 
How did we break our line? Huh. Well, let's put our spoon back on. New personal record for green sunfish. Nice. Hey, awesome gamer. Good to see you again. Use the wrong pole again. I keep using the wrong pole. All right, let's use this one. Eight inches and awesome 0.393 pounds. Nice, nice fish. This should be a good cast. Pretty decent. Let's beat up the line a little bit. Right about there. Nice and steady. We're going to go right across where I'm pretty sure that's the Hunter Ian's bobber. Let's slow down a little bit. Uh, nothing. Hmm. Alright, let's move over a little bit this way and find our spot again. Right there. Shauna Smith, hello. Thank you for joining the stream. I'm just happy we have at least three pound tests because that two pound test wasn't really cutting it very good. Hello, Connor Carlson. Keep it right there. And nothing. Nothing again. Ooh, the CD caught a 1.87 pound spotted bass. Biver, you caught two 1.8 plus bass, and I only got one 1.6 pound bass here. Sell your fish, or you will be getting fined each time. This deity is actually um Devin, I think. Oh, it's Devin. But how do you how do you sell the fish while you're in game? You don't you have to leave? Yeah, you have to you have to leave the game to sell to sell the fish. Oh. Because um, if you go into your fish keeper, the only thing that shows up is release. Oh, okay. And nothing again. All right, we need to get back to our spot. Where was our spot? Right here. All right. You know what? I think we're actually casting at the wrong tree. Yeah. We need to cast at this tree here. Pretty sure. Hey, Bryce Owens, you got a 150 10 point. Nice. Oh, we just had a hit too. Just had a hit from something. Nice job on your buck. Hello, CJ Marshall. Hey, Dane Banfield. Oh, you just missed. You didn't miss anything. We got a fish on, though. Just got a fish right when you got here, Dane. Apparently, you're good luck. Although, this one's not very big. Or, uh, 
It's not small, but he's definitely not a 1.6 pounder. Let's get him in. 1.4 pounds. Pretty nice one. That's a pretty nice fish. Uh, let's get rid of this one. And let's get rid of this one. And we'll keep our biggest ones. Well, if we catch one more fish, we might have to leave the map and then come back because we're going to be about out of room to keep the fish. Yeah, congratulations on that. That's an awesome buck, a 150. My biggest one's only a 160, so... Oh, nice. Got another one. Wow, this one's pulling pretty good. He is pulling pretty good. So we're going to have a fight here. And we're not going to try and rush it because we only have three pound tests, so. Oh. It's like he's coming back at us really fast. I do like that, though. That is pretty realistic how they come right back at you like that. It's like he's coming at you like he's trying to spit the hook or something. And they definitely do that a lot. Ryan Thornton. Got to pay attention to this fish here. Who might lose it? Don't want to lose that. Catch a spoonbill. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. That's the third time I lost the fish. Oh, that was a nice one. Let's see, set your drag one higher, it won't snap your line. If you set your drag higher, it would snap your line. That doesn't make much sense. So if you have it really loose, then it won't break your line. But I don't know, if maybe the fish is taking all the line and then snapping it. Maybe that's happening. Well, anyhow, let's put our lure back on. At least we don't have to buy a new lure every time. That helps good. Every time it could have been a 1.8 plus fish, but you're never gonna know now because, wait, am I going the wrong way? Oh, here we go. Well, the drag's as low as it goes. Keep it right there. Yeah, Dane, thank you for the luck. I appreciate that. No, definitely look good luck for sure. Jerry's Outdoor Channel, we are playing Fishing Planet. We're gonna switch to hook size one and they'll probably catch absolutely nothing. Oh yeah, that could work too. Keep it right there. Oh, I thought I had a bite. I felt like there was going to be something coming. But it didn't quite. Holy! <sighs> he bit at the last second. Right next to the dock. There we go. Decent fish. But we'll let him go. Now, I think you get XP for letting him go, right? Oh, so you think that that fish is actually pulling all the line off the reel. You might be right. You might be right there, actually. You might be right on that one. Because I know we need to get some more line. 126. Can't we get... Let's get like 170. Wait a second. It's confusing because... The numbers go up when you go this way, but this is the line, this is the reel. You would think, I'll try something once. Cut it there, see how much line we have. 
don't think I'm gonna catch anything with just a size one hook. No tackle. Pretty sure we put a spoon on there. And how much line do we have? Forty-five feet. Okay, so that did that did not work at all. So we have to put it back, and we'll go. Oh, now I see what's going on. Our spools are getting empty. Actually, managed to catch something with the size one hook. There oh. we go. Let's keep this one at 200, 209 feet. That should work. But why is it? Could sell these. There, I think we finally figured it out. Now it has no bait. Lord Cole, please do not um, try to call DD during the stream. All right, so now we have 200 feet of line. Maybe we could catch something. I guess that's possibly what was happening. I'll take your advice, and even though the last two times we lost fish because I thought the drag was actually too tight, but you, maybe you're right. Maybe it is because it's pulling all the line off the spool. Makes sense. Yeah, I'll have to try and pay attention more to that counter. there hey Al Jaws what is going on glad to see you out here I really appreciate you coming by <laughs> all right well hopefully you're still lucky oh, you guys are getting fish all over here are you guys actually catching them or they're just jumping up and down? Can't tell if you're actually catching them or what's going on. Let it sink a little bit here. Well, the majority of the, of the fish that, that are playing with mine are biting probably because it's a size one hook. Oh, they're not biting it, huh? Huh. All right, let's try and cut. It looks like they're trying to bite your bobber. That's what it looks like they're doing. Cameron, welcome back. Shark Twister, welcome back. Nate Lavender, hey, good to see you again. Yeah, we were just playing uh, this morning some Fishing Planet. Thank you for subscribing. I really appreciate that. Let it sink a little bit. And should be good right about there. Nope. Ryan Thorsten. Hey, good to see you again. Welcome back. All right, see you later, CJ. Yeah, this is a pretty early stream. I don't think I've streamed this early before. 
in a while. Not much going on here. Yeah, let's try over here. That's what I want to do. And we'll keep our speed up. Oh boy. I have to keep it right on top of the water, basically. Right there. Got one. Apparently it got off. Huh. Must have missed it. Ah, Beto. Yep, now I remember. Definitely forgot. Sorry about that. Caught some nice ones before, right on top of the water like this. Nothing. Uh, D Devin, the streams are always a few seconds behind from what's actually happening. Let's try right down the middle. Sam Schultz. Yeah, it's been a little while. I just saw your comment on YouTube. I appreciate that. Uh, I'm pretty sure I commented back. There we go. Fish on, fish on. All right, so let's, hopefully the drag doesn't burn out on us here. Oh, that fish came in pretty fast. That's a 12 incher. I think that might potentially be a keeper. Let's check this out. One point six, one point six. 1.6, 1.6. Nope, this is not a keeper. We're gonna have to let this one go. Actually, I think we probably could have kept that one. Hmm. Hey, thank you, Nate. I appreciate that. Fish off. Oh, fish off. Had a hit, but then he missed it. Sometimes they could come back. Nope. He let go. One of us has to catch a trophy fish sooner or later. Oh, you would think so. I never even saw these lily pads over here. Didi, you can buy the advanced um, license for Texas, so you won't get fined for keeping keeping um spotted bass. Oh, really?
Hey, thank you, Jack Hitchcock. I appreciate that. But I think we need to go up to a different map, or at least come back to this map in a second. Because this map is free, right? Yeah, this map's free. I think we need to go... Yeah, let's get rid of some of this cash and then we can come back and catch some more fish. All right, now we can come back. Still don't have enough for um, Mudwater River. No. Hey, Corey H. We're actually yeah, we do have the spinning rod that is right here. That's kind of what we've been using before. Let's see, where is it? Yeah, right here is our spinning rod. We're using a spoon, but maybe we should use a spinner. There was some spinners here. There definitely was some available. I don't see any now, but huh. Spoons, spinners, top water baits, crank baits. Oh, here's some more spoons. Oh, there's barbless spinners. That's what we want. I want to get, but we can't get any of these anyways. We don't have enough coins. Can we get it? No, we can't get it. Oh, uh, you have to have 14 stars to get it. I could probably get one of these, though, maybe. Can I get it? Can't get this either. Huh. Well, we'll just keep using our spoon. Maldi, good afternoon. Yeah, that's what I've been trying to do. Uh, I don't know who said that, actually. Yeah, I've been trying to do the stop and go. Sure. Okay. Yeah, I'm trying to keep it off the bottom. And go up and down, but hello, Andreas. Right there. Hey, no problem, Dane. Enjoy the weather outside. Oh, thank you for that, Corey H. I appreciate that. Trying a little twitching strategy here. It's 
not doing much though. Hello, Garrett. Thank you for subscribing. I appreciate that. Maybe I should keep it right off the bottom once. See if that works. Yeah, that did not work very good because we almost got snagged. What do you got there? Oh, you got a nice bass. All right, I kind of want to try and catch a nice catfish here. I know there's catfish out here, so let's get our... Other rod available. Here's our catfish rod. I really wish that we had some cut bait. Have you not unlocked cut bait yet? Apparently not. I have worms and bread. <laughs> no grubs, no tubes, no worm. These are all a different bait. Well, we could definitely catch one on a worm. I've caught some big catfish on worms before. Let's give her a little cast out there and see what happens. Hello, Oliver. Good to see you. Hey, thank you so much, Corey. Looks like we're getting a bite. Oh, he didn't want to take it. Looks like he left it alone. Hello, Eric. He's pulling on it pretty good. Mm, probably too small. Let's go a little bit deeper. We'll go 20 inches out. It's so hard to cast it far. I don't know how to cast it really far. I guess you can only cast a bobber so far. Robert fishing a lot of it comes down to luck in the end a lot of it just comes down to luck you can be in a really good spot but you also need to be there at the right time and you need to be, you need to be really lucky Maldi I don't think you can actually do that for bobber fishing though I tried that option and it, it only works for when you're using uh, a bait
We're trying to catch a catfish right now. But it might be too early. Maybe we need to go to a different time of day. Decent sun sunfish, eight inches and three point three seven seventy two pounds. Oh, nice fish. Yeah, that's why I'm trying to go deep so we can get some catfish maybe. Even though we don't have cut bait yet, but Yeah, Robert J fishing. I I was hoping we had some kind of cut bait whether we had li chicken liver or uh some some dead shad or something. I don't know. Hello, Joel Murphy. I think we might have had a bite, actually. Yeah, Maldi, well, if I push the right button. Oh, now it's working. But I can't. That's as far as I can cast. That's it. That's as far as I can cast. Huh. Well, I guess that's it. That was a pretty decent cast. Yeah, we were catching quite a bit of bass, but now we're trying to catch a catfish here. They don't seem to be too active right now. Oh, something was about to take it down. Couldn't quite do it though. Nothing here. Well, let's try a smaller hook. See if that helps. I really wish we had some different bait. Bread and worms. Bring our leader to 18 inches. That should catch a fish. Or get snagged. Oh, okay, we're good, we're good. scared me finally had a bite it's only a small bluegill see that's why we're not getting any bites because the uh bluegill are sitting there playing with our our bait and we're not we're not getting down to the catfish well if the crossbow comes to call the wild i'm gonna be out there quite a bit tell you what hey thank you for subscribing i appreciate that Half pound eight eight inch bluegill. 
Nice, nice fish. I want to put it right on the end of this lily pad here. So, has anybody ever caught in a catfish on a red worm on the the uh, on fishing planet? Jeez. Yeah, I just pulled these little ones. Yeah, I saw some people um, catching catfish earlier, but not in this session. But they caught them with, with a, a red worm? Or were they using cut bait? I have no idea what they were using. <laughs> Sam, that's a good question. I call it a Rapala. I know some people call it Rapala, but I call it Rapala. Nathan was sending you a gift. Hey, thank you for the gift. What? I really appreciate that. I don't know what it is, but thank you. It's in the backpack, apparently. Let's check our backpack. 12 monkeys demolition set. Is that bait? Almost looks like fireworks. Hmm. Oh, well that answers the question, Jack Hitchcock. I, I appreciate that. I didn't know you couldn't catch him on a worm. No, a lot of big fishermen call it rapala. They call them rapalas, but that might be what you sh what you're supposed to call them. But I just think it sounds a little bit funny when you call it a rapala instead of a rapala. They actually pronounce it like ra rapala. I mean, everyone has their own preference of it. Hello, turn to oh fish, fish on, fish on. Uh, black tail shiner. Oh, we're probably not going to get anything big with that, so let's use our spoon. Hey, thank you. We're doing all right. We have fifteen thousand six hundred and sixty-two dollars here, so we're doing all right in that situation. Fish keeper. I don't know what that is. Our max fish is two point two pounds, huh? I hope we don't catch this lily pad over here. Hopefully you hook the frog on the lily pad so you can use it for bass bait. Yeah, no kidding. My biggest bass right now is, I think it was 14.6 inches and 1.86 pounds. But in real life, my biggest bass is uh, it's like 20 and a half inches.
But I don't think they actually have smallmouth here, huh? It's all spotted bass or largemouth bass. There must be some lily pads over there because something just pulled the line pretty tight. Well, right now it's DD22 because I spelled it wrong. Uh, not sure how much how late I'm gonna be up for tonight, Jonathan, but I'll see. There we go. Wow. Fish on. That is a channel catfish. That's exactly what we were trying to catch the whole time. I'm so happy that we caught one finally. On a gold spoon. Never heard of that before. Wait, did you just use the same thing that um, you used to catch the bass with? Yeah, it's a gold spoon. 14 inch, 14.5 inch, 1.5 pound catfish. Pretty cool. He hit it like right here, right next to the uh, shallow part, but pretty nice. I think we're definitely going to keep him. Channel catfish actually get really huge in real life. Yeah, I've caught some uh, 20, 22 inches, but 14 inches is, it's definitely a good eater for sure. Only well, we took like 15 casts before we got that bite, but at least we got a bite. Let's try that. There's no albino fish in this game. I think they're classified as as unique. Like oh, yeah. I think the unique fish are the rares of fishing planet. Wait, this is where we just were. Hmm. Try and go here. How do we get up here? Right here. Oh, 
Oh, no problem, Nathan. I was wondering what that was for. Can we even fish up here? Oh, let's go over here. Corey H., nice job on your largemouth. 16 pounds. Good job. That's a monster. Hello, Hale. It's good to see you. Can we fish here? I like this spot. Definitely like this spot. Where are we at? Okay. That was a pretty good cast. I really thought we were going to get something on that. Apparently not. Nickel, I'm using three pound test, so it's not much. We got a fish on though. We do have a fish on. I wonder if it's gonna be another catfish or if it's a bass or what's going on. Please don't go that way. Looks like a pretty big fish. Try not to screw up on it. <laughs> oh, we have 200 feet of line now, so. If the drag gets too tight, we'll just let go. Pull them right in. It's a bass. 12.8 inch. Oops. Decent fish. Not giant, but it's I can only time I can only time someone out. Sorry about that, um, Maldi. Oh. Gonna have to move my phone so I don't accidentally time someone out again. <laughs> we just passed the Bass Master Challenge. Hmm. I'm pretty sure I got... Oh, here's our biggest fish. Oh, right here. Chow Cat and a Spotted Bass. License, basic. We should get the advanced, huh? How do I get it? Oh, uh, I can't get it now, huh? This is Missouri. Uh, Texas. Advanced. Ooh! Pretty sure I just had seven coins left, and now I have... Oh, I guess I still have nine coins left, I guess. So now we can keep some more fish. All right, we'll keep it up towards the top and see what happens. Whoops. Keep it right there. Hey, that worked pretty good. Did we just catch a bluegill on a gold spoon? It's a pretty smart, strong, well, not very smart, but it's a pretty strong bluegill to go after a gold spoon. Ooh, just got a trophy bluegill. Trophy bluegill? How? Nine inches and 0.77 pounds. Oh wow, nine inches is a trophy blue guy. I didn't even know that.
What'd you catch? Hey, he caught a pickerel. Byrie got a pickerel. Nice. Hey, Brendan, nice bass. 5.5 .5 pounds. That's a really nice one. Seems like I'm having better luck towards the bottom than on the top, to be honest. I like to be maybe six inches off the bottom. Seems like they like it right there. Maybe not. <laughs> A fish just followed it up right to the top. Hey, Hunter Gaming. Good to see you out here. Doing a little bit of fishing. Still a little bit green at it, but can't get better if you don't try. We just had that one hit like right here. Eh, nothing that time. I want to cast this way a little bit more this time. There we go. Poor Shiner, that, that, um, this fish fought like like it was a like it was a bass or something. Oh yeah, nice. Me personal best too. Real nice. I think I think we're hitting snags on this uh, some grass right here. Can't go that way, huh? All right, sounds good, Jack. We'll see you later. I'll definitely have to check out some of those. Yeah, it's pretty realistic, pretty realistic. What'd you get? Oh, you got another bass. Nice, nice. Uh, no, I didn't, Hunter Gaming. I didn't see that yet. Have to check that out. To my right. Yeah, let's go over here. That was a nice cast. Wow.
Hey, Mason. Yeah, it's a pretty pretty tough game. You gotta get lucky. If you don't get lucky, you aren't gonna catch much. All right, let's see if we can't figure out how to put a different lure on this rod. Oh, we got a spinner. Did we get a spinner? Oh no, we couldn't even get a spinner because they're too expensive, but... Maybe we could get a different spoon. We have the gold. Could probably get silver. Yeah, we don't have much unlocked yet. Definitely not yet. We're getting close, but... Ooh, this is a nice crappie. 10 inches and almost a half pound. Oh, nice. Fast and low. Okay, I'll try that out. Boy, they're being stubborn now. Hey, you got one. Really nice right here, sunfish. Nine inches and 0. .620 pounds. Oh, nice fish. Oh, someone has a fish on here. Who is that? Oh, Ian, nice fish you got there. Glad someone's catching some fish. They don't like the gold spoon anymore. Nice fish. Nice fish. I'll try this spot here. It would be cool if you could actually see them swimming around in the water and then just cast right where they are. Another nice crappie. Nice. Nine, inch, nine inches, almost half pounds. Keep it towards the bottom this time, see if that helps. Still nothing. Well, apparently this side doesn't have any fish on it. Let's go back over here.
No, not much. Bass lure. I did not see that. Yeah, no, it did not show on my end. Still can't see anything. I just have to check something here real quick. Oh my, Robert Robert J. Fishing just donated $20. Thank you so much. Oh my God. Yeah, I did not see that notification. I am so sorry. Wow, that really means a lot. Thank you so much, Robert J. Fishing. Let's see if I can... Uh, we gotta reel this in here quick. Yeah, I didn't even I didn't even see that. I did not see that. I need to. So hopefully, oh, you did hear me. <laughs> Thank you so much, Robert J. Fishing. I, uh, wow. I definitely did not see that. And also, thank you for letting me know about that. Let's see who said that. Redneck, thank you so much for letting me know about that. I really appreciate that. Thank you for that. Wow. Yeah, Andre, I'm trying the whole twitching technique and I was getting them before, but I'm just going to do real and stop here. See if that works. I think what it is is they're getting used to the gold spoon and eventually they want to get something else. Hey, Tommy, you just subscribed. Thank you so much for subscribing. You like my videos and you watch them every day. That's awesome. Thank you for that. Your videos keep me interested in Call of the Wild while the devs lag with the DLC. Yeah, no problem at all, Robert J. Fishing. I really appreciate that. That, Like I said before, that really means a lot. Uh, thank you so much for the $20 super chat. I will be doing Call of the Wild soon. You know what? For sure, I might be doing a Call of the Wild live stream tomorrow now that I think about it. Definitely, I want to do that. I'll get into that. Uh, awesome Man Films. Hello, Awesome Man Films. Yeah, I heard, well, whoever said that the crossbow is coming to Call of the Wild. I think that's going to be a really cool addition as well.
Hey, Carter, thank you so much. Thank you for subscribing. Someone just subscribe. Brendan, you watch videos every day. Thank you for that. That's awesome. I'm glad to hear that. Someone has a fish on here, and I can't catch a fish at all. Thank you for subscribing. I don't have the jig available yet, I don't think. What'd you catch? You got a bass there. Bivory? Bivory. I have a bass jig, but um, for some reason it won't let me use it. I didn't really unlock anything yet. I'm. What are we at? Level seven still. Uh. Yeah, the only thing I have is worms. Jig head. No jig heads. No hard baits. I literally have basically nothing. Spinner baits, I don't have enough stars to unlock one of these yet. And no top water. I'm sure the top waters are probably all premium stuff, but. Hey, Sarah. Yes, I do. I live in Wisconsin. All right. Well, let's see if we can catch something on some worms. I'll try that out for a change. Give it a little toss out there and see what happens. You got another bass, huh? What bait are you using there, Bivory? I can't quite tell. What is that? Oh, I still can't tell. We're about to get a bite. Our first fish in probably over 20 minutes. Oh yeah, this is awesome. Wait, what? What? Before the fish was hooked. He had that bait gone. Well, at least we got a bite, I guess. Sarah, no, I didn't get a deer this year. I haven't got one in the last couple of years, actually. But I've been close. Hey, Chase! Bait was eaten or lost. Oh, looks like it's still there to me. What'd you catch here? Ian, this is a good game, but I wouldn't say it's way too amazing. You might really like it. Well, once you unlock some stuff, I'm sure it is pretty cool. But if you only have one spoon and a worm, Good luck. Oh, we're gonna bite. No, Tommy, I don't have anything. Just, I have a gold spoon and some worms. Press T to change time. 
Well, let's wait till we hopefully catch a fish here. Come on, take it down. He almost took it under. All right, let's change the time. Wait, I want to go p.m. Like four o'clock in the afternoon. Let's see if they might bite now. I forgot about changing the time. That might actually help. We might be able to catch something on our spoon now. Oh yeah, that's what you're using. You're using a a blue spoon. Oh, that's the secret. That is the secret. I found out the secret. We need to have a blue spoon and we're using a gold spoon. So let's get... I don't even see a blue spoon here, but... Spoons and spinners and spoons. Barbless spoons. Oh, you probably got one of these things here. Hmm. Well, maybe we'll try the silver spoon if we can get it. Yeah, let's get it. All right. Well, I guess we're going to try the silver spoon out. Give the old gold spoon a rest for a little while. See how that works. New personal record for Golden Shiner. <laughs> hey, that's something to be proud of. But you did get a trophy uh, crappie, so that's pretty awesome. Oh, that's really cool. You use bottle caps to make your own lures. That's really cool. Oh, we cast a little bit too far on that. Hopefully we don't snag up on the other side over there. <laughs> this bicity here is just absolutely incredible at catching fish, it seems like, anyways. You just pulled that fish in so fast. New personal best for white crappie, 11 inches and That's a monster. Pounds. I can see it. It's right there. Nice. Really nice fish. Yeah, we have one, two, three, four. Oh, Nathan showed up. Hey, Nathan. Nathan's here. Bissity, uh, Hunter, Ian, and Zach. And Bissity has another fish on with that blue spoon. Wow. Yeah, that's a nice one. Uh, near Winnebago County. Sarah. You feel like fishing, but you don't want to fish solo. Yeah, it is one of those things where, I mean, if you catch them when you're by yourself, it's awesome. But to be able to go out there and not catch anything by yourself, it's not so awesome. I believe you just search for the server, the Hunter DD22, because it's not DD33 right now on accident. Yeah, no problem, Sarah. Let's see, maybe we should keep it at 16 inches.
Oh, yeah. Just <laughs> flung that fish out of the water so fast. That's a nice bluegill, 8.3 inch. I'll keep them for now. The first fish we caught in a long time, actually. Well, it looks like everybody's bobber fishing now. Nice change of pace. That's a good question. I don't really know how you would actually search for the name. I'm pretty sure you go into join a server and then somehow you would type to type the name. Tommy, your biggest catch is 73 pounds. That's nice. Oh, I saw that bobber go under. This one almost went under. An eight inch green sunfish. Doesn't seem like we're gonna get too much cash for it. So we'll let it go. Well, you live in Adams, okay. Hello, YA dude. Yeah, it is a pretty fun game. I like it too. Just started playing it and I'm starting to like it. Except for I'm getting outfished by this guy here. Bissity got another nice fish. I can't see how big it is, but it looks pretty nice. Actually, how do I... Oh, we're getting some friend requests here. Um, Gonna have to rejoin soon. My fish keeper's almost full. Oh yeah. How far away is that from Winnebago County? Oh yeah, Robert. They're not gonna bring it to Xbox. Yeah, it's one of those things where even like the Hunter Classic, I wish they would bring that to Xbox or PlayStation as well too. This one fought pretty good. 8.5 inch. It's a nice fish. <laughs> we unlocked the grasshopper. Oh, wait, no. ZX7R sent me a grasshopper. Hey, thank you for this. And a drunken worm. Hey, thank you for that. I really appreciate that. Those could come handy. Hey, Wiggles, no problem at all. Glad to see you came out here. 
So, yeah, that would be cool if we could put a grasshopper on here. Let's see. Oh, we have a grasshopper and a worm. Oh, that's a drunken worm. This one's for bass. Let's use this for bass. But then how would I... Oh, nice, nice, nice. Probably want a bigger hook for that one, though. Yeah, oh, maybe not. Hmm. All right, now we're set. We have a grasshopper. We record for green sunfish, 8 inches and 0. 0.420 pounds. Oh, that's a nice one. Hey, thank you for the goalie! This grasshopper worked so good. Ah, oh, decent bluegill. I didn't think, I thought it was gonna be a nice bass, but wow, that bluegill pounded it pretty fast. Really fast, it barely hit the water and, and it took it down. So apparently the grasshopper works pretty good. Size hook eight. All right, one second. All right, never mind. He's not coming. So, let's put a size hook eight. All right, now we have a size hook eight. Thank you for the awesome information. Robert J. Fishing, I appreciate that. That will come in handy. Is that this? Another nice crappie, 10 inches and 0.538 pounds. 36 inches. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you, sir. I didn't know it was this deep here. I was thinking it was only, oh, maybe like five or six feet deep. Oh, we're getting a bite. And we got one. Another bluegill. Some decent bluegills here. Keep keeping these. Probably catch one more fish, then we might have to head back to the map. Oh, no problem, Wiggles. I'm glad Zach's catching some nice fish. Oh, that's so Almost cool. level eight. Oh, you're level eight. Hey, I'm level eight too. Hey, savage boy. Good to see you. That's so cool, Sarah. Thank you for that. Come on. Uh, in real life, yeah. 
Yeah, I'm pretty decent in real life, but I'm doing all right. Bissity catches every single fish out here, I swear. Just gotta watch that bobber go down. There it goes. Nice crappie. 10.7 inch nice crappie. Impossible to place fish in the current cooler. Oh boy. We're gonna have to let go our smallest little bluegill here for 22. Yeah, let's get rid of that one. Wow, the bass give you tons of cash. Lots of bass before, but right now we're getting some bluegill and sunfish. Oh, we got a nice catfish. I forgot about that catfish. That was a nice catfish too. Come on. He wants to take it, but he just won't quite take it down. There we go. What is this? A black tail shiner. 7.3 inches. Wow, it gives you a bunch of cash. Hmm. $33. So let's get rid of this bluegill here. Still can't keep it. What about this one? All right, we have to go to the map because I'm pretty full. Are you full too, Zach? 7.5 out of 8.8. Yeah, yeah, def definitely the net is full. Hey, ZX7R, thank you for the bait. I really appreciate the grasshopper. So we need to go to the map. I'd like to let these people know though. Uh, no, I haven't been to Adams. Cool. Twenty four inches and throw it near the lily pads. I guess we should maybe fix some of this stuff, but eh, it's fine for now. Zach, do you have enough money to come to the uh Emerald Lake? Or Mudwater, I mean. I still don't have enough for mudwater. Do you, you need to have twelve hundred, I think. One thousand two hundred. Though I'm very close to leveling up, so once I level up, I should be able to um, join a Mudwater server. Oh, okay. So, I wonder if you join a random room. ZX7R said if you just... Good, if I would have known about that. 
apparently you can just change the time to the next day and then you get to keep all your fish without having to go to a new map. All right, well, let's see if we can catch something while nobody else is here right now. I'd like to catch a decent bass. I'd also like to get some line eventually. It says your room is full. It's full. Oh, so there is a limit then. Huh. How does that happen? Well, I just want to take one more cast right now. Let's see if we can get lucky and catch one. Doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like we're gonna get lucky. Someone else caught one already, but we didn't catch one. So, all right, guys. Well, I think that's gonna be the end of the stream. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. Also, if you want to be a member of the Discord community, you can definitely join in on the Patreon community, and you can check the link out below if you want to do that. But everyone else, I hope you guys have a good day, and thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you next time.